30 ways to find a relationship in your 30s, part 10. Ditch the games. The whole rule of not texting them after a certain amount of time or not reaching out to them after the first date, that needs to be thrown out the window when you're dating and you're older. You know what you want. Learn how to speak your truth and tell someone how you feel. You know what you deserve receiving in a relationship. Honor that and if it doesn't feel good, don't pursue it. It doesn't have to be complicated. Think easy is better. Let go of the games, be yourself, claim what it is that you desire, and then say no to anything that's not in alignment with that. Dating in your 30s and above should be fun and easy. If it's not, I want you to click the link in my bio to apply to coach with me and share this video with someone who may need it. When you're 30 and everyone thinks you're 21, Super spy. Super spy! Here are four things you might need to hear today. Number one, you are too good to be somebody's secret or second choice. Somebody who truly loves you will prioritize you and you will feel loved and appreciated. Number two, love yourself instead of loving the idea of other people loving you. Number three, start rewarding inconsistency with unavailability. If somebody is inconsistent with you, you shouldn't be available for them 24-7. And number four, someone out there feels better because you exist. You have no idea who you are motivating and inspiring. And just because you are living today, someone feels better about their life. All right, guys. Got a lot to unbox in tonight's coaching video. And I'm just going to call this one, Unmarried 30-Year-Old Women Desperately Try to Convince Themselves That They Are Still 20. Which, a couple of these chicks in tonight's little rants uh, did right but I'll I'll get to them later let me start with the first woman who uh, apparently is a dating coach and she came up with a 30 point bullet list for how to find a relationship in your 30s and really you know what if you're a female you don't need uh you don't need a bullet point of 30 items really you only need one right? And that one item is you need to just be feminine, okay? Because when you're feminine with a man, everything else will fall into place. When you're just naturally feminine, you will be cool to hang out with. You'll be fun to talk to. You'll be enjoyable company. You won't be a nag. Okay, you you won't have these tendencies to... Uh, start barking about feminism and, and p female empowerment and all this other malarkey that guys are just tired of hearing. We're just so tired about it, right? We're just so sick of hearing this this nonsense about, ah, oh, I could pay my own bills, I got my own money, I don't need a man, then don't date, okay? If you don't need if you don't need to, if you don't need a man, don't date, right? It's like saying, "Oh, I don't need food, then don't eat." Okay? D just and you'll notice with uh, the type of uh, females that repeat that, you know, type of toxic rhetoric. Do those chicks ever really find their man? No. They just find a string of guys who will, you know, bang them every once in a while. But they never find, like, their actual forever man, which is what they're apparently looking for. But they never find that guy because they are never able to really look deep inside of them themselves and see that they are the problem and you know if you can't see that you're the problem then you can't fix anything right because as I always say blame yourself first blame yourself first uh, but it's hilarious this chick had like a, a 30 point bullet list of how to find a relationship in your 30s for women nah man you only need you know only, the only one thing you need to do is just act feminine Okay, the second you don't act feminine, you start acting masculine, you start acting like a dude, that is when all bets are off. This guy, maybe he doesn't leave physically because he might still want to have sex with you, but mentally, that dude's gone. Mentally, that guy's moved on, right? Like I said, he'll, he'll have sex with you, he might stick around to have sex with you, but mentally, he's done. Because no guy wants that. He'll never tell you that, but no guy wants that. And he can't tell you that because what will happen if he tells you that? He'll get shamed. Right? If he says, oh, stop with the feminist stuff. Stop with the female empowerment. I don't care it's International Women's Month. What? What did you say? You know, 
he doesn't want to deal with that. So he just won't tell you and uh, he'll just move on and try to find himself a woman who's feminine, which is basically what every single guy on the planet is looking for. He's looking for a chick who's feminine. Even these uh, woke male feminist pussy ass deceptive dudes out there like wearing the pink hats at those marches. Even those guys want, even those guys want a woman who's feminine who will let them lead. At their very core, that is what those guys want, just like any man out there. And it's so crazy how it's its just so easy for a woman to get a man and keep a man if she would just act feminine. But you don't want to do that. You want to be able to act masculine, brag about you know how great you are and uh, how much money you're making and how lucky he is to be with you. You want to be able to do all that, all that stuff and how he's a piece of garbage. And expect him to stay with you, right? Never let him lead. Always take the lead from him. Uh, never support him. Never admire him. <sighs> you know, be a horrible teammate and you expect this guy to stick around and just <laughs> and just continue dating you, right? Regardless, let's break into the second woman's little rant there where she was saying that she uh, she's 30-something but looks like she's... People think she's 21, I don't know, man. Uh, I took a good look at her. I watched it twice, maybe even three times. And I'm like, I don't see that, you know, and I'm not even being mean when I say that. I, For me, if I saw her and you were to tell me to guess how old she was, I would guess probably late 30s, if not early 40s. I would definitely not guess 21. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, my girl's 20. And if she was standing next to this chick, this chick would look like her mom. And as a matter of fact, her mom does not look much older than this chick who was saying, who was claiming she's 21. So, uh, I mean, I think that's a bit of a reach. But if she wants to tell herself that so she could go to sleep at night feeling better about herself, so be it. As many of these girls do. They want to lie to themselves. They want to live in a, uh, you know, in fantasy land. In this state of 24-7 delusion where they only want to hear what makes them feel good and they never want to hear anything that will make them feel bad. If they want to, you know, if they want to live uh, detached from reality, so be it, right? <laughs> you do that. You do you. And finally, let's break into the third woman's little rant. Uh, she was driving in her car with the blonde hair. <sighs> Listening to these affirmations about you will find that man who will treat you right you will find that man who will call you back even after you hang up with him you will find your forever guy you know all of these malarkey affirmations that really are just a mental circle jerk right because the way to get what you want out of life is to just go out there and get it and if you can't get it you have to stop and look at yourself and go, what do I need to improve about myself in order to attract what I want? Okay, you can't just sit there and, you know, like a spoiled brat, expect God to move the world for you and hand you whatever you want in a silver platter. That is not how the world works. That is not how life works. That's not how nature works. But before we even dive deeper into our little rant, um, Take a look at this chick. She's got the duck lips. She's got the inflated lips. She's got the, you know, the five, 10 inch eyelashes. She's got, you know, the, the platinum blonde hair. Uh, clearly this chick is HM, right? High maintenance. This is the type of chick that if you just want to go, you know, down to the 7-Eleven and get, grab a soda, she will be like, oh, wait, I have to do my wake, my makeup. Oh, wait, I have to put on something nice. You know, it's like, we're just going to 7-Eleven. <laughs> Why do you have to do all that? And sadly, uh, girls like this end up staying single, right? And, you know, I mean, I see so many of these Barbie dolls out in L.A. that are just forever single. And then, you know, you see them 10 years later, they're still single. 20 years later, they're still single. 30 years later, still single right only now they have many more wrinkles crow's feet the turkey neck you know the thinning hair you name it so her problem is 
never once, and not only, I'm not just picking on her, but many women like her who listen to these like affirmations of these simps, that's what they are, these simps are like, girl, you deserve the guy who is going to just lay down and get run over by the train for you, you know, and they're always like doing these self-affirmation vids that these chicks are listening to. Never once do you ever hear these chicks talk about how they are going to treat you, what they have to offer you, what they are bringing to your little potluck relationship here, right? Because a relationship's like a potluck, right? You got to bring something. You can't just show up, man, because if you show up and you just start eating the food and you didn't bring anything, guess what? People are going to get pissed. People aren't going to like that. And people are not going to invite you back to the next potluck, are they? But a lot of these modern women, they don't bring anything to the table, do they? Just a lot of yap, a lot of bravado, a lot of ego, and a lot of this just self-serving attitude. It's, you know, nothing is ever about you. It's always about them. Like, that's me, me. What about me? What about me? It's like, you know, you're not the only person in the room. But I guarantee you this chick is just going to stay single like the rest of them. Right? I mean, it's just, it's not even funny anymore. Uh, and the sad, sad thing is uh, a lot of these chicks still think that they're in the first quarter here. And it's like, no. Uh, you're, you're past sudden death overtime. They don't realize that. It's like, dude, you're already sudden death overtime. How? I'm only in my thirties. It's like, well, you've, you've already crossed that, you know, you've crossed that invisible border. You've crossed that, uh, not even invisible, that deadly border, right? The point of no return, 3-0, the point of no return. That is what we should call it from now on. And now your choices are going to become slimmer and slimmer and slimmer. And here you are talking about you deserve this type of guy, that type of guy. And make no mistake, that that chick, the affirmation she was listening to, she's like, as as all these chicks were like, uh, what they're really wanting is a Chad who will act like a beta male. They want a Chad who will just have like no self-respect and no dignity whatsoever and just throw himself at her. And the second he does... You guys know what happens. She just steps all over him. And he's done. And she's on to the next dude who isn't going to kowtow to her. And uh, who's going to make her drive around in her car and listen to these malarkey affirmations from simps on TikTok. And then the cycle is just going to repeat and repeat. As they say, history repeats itself. Until you fix it. Until you stop it. And you do something different. What is the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result and that is what many of these women who are the dg do that's why they stay single well into uh you know yeah for what do we mean well into until they're six feet under i almost said yeah well into their 60s no <laughs> even then it's like there's no chance that you find a man in your 60s so even then um nobody's just gonna want nobody's gonna want you you know this is why you you need to be more realistic with yourself and uh, you know you need to you need to fix yourself because these chicks are broken make no mistake about it guys these chicks are broken they're defective which is another word of saying they're DG and because if they weren't guess what they would have that ring they'd have that ring on their finger and they'd have a man they'd have a house they'd have a family they'd have kids Right? They'd have that stuff and they wouldn't be driving around filming these TikToks, listening to these affirmations from simps and um, not getting anything from it. Right, it's, it's not like she's even getting ad revenue from this. So there's no point to it. As always, share your comments below in my comment section. Anything I might have missed, anything you would like to add, any experiences you've had that you want to share with the tribe please share them in our comments section below. I always love to see you guys in my comments. I always love to read your comments. So drop those comments below. And until next time, this is M from the 33 Secrets signing out here from my Range Rover doing the last series of coaching videos in this car. I'm very sad, but uh, I will be selling it 
uh, very soon. So this is going to be the last round of these coaching videos we're going to do here in my Range Rover. We have a lot of memories in this car. You guys probably learned a ton from me teaching you from this car. And this was the first car that I bought once my uh, channel started to get traction and my business started to get traction. This was the first uh, nice car that I bought myself in a long time. So uh, it's very sad to have to let it go. And this has actually been the most reliable, you guys aren't going to believe this because a lot of you guys are like, Range Rover, oh my God, it must be in the shop all the time. No, this has been the most reliable car I've ever owned. It has never left me on the side of the road. I've never had uh, electrical gremlins or engine problems or anything like that. Uh, it's been maintenance free. And uh, that's the thing about these luxury cars is you have to keep up with the maintenance. As long as you do that, the car will not let you down. So you have a lot of these bonehead owners who will buy these luxury cars, never take them in for ma maintenance, never do the oil changes, um, and just never take care of them. And then they're, you know, then they, when they break down, they'll get on all these forums and talk about what a terrible car it is. And it's like, no, dude, you just have to maintain it. It's not cheap to maintain it, but you know what? Uh, it won't let you down if you do. So uh, I, I have no problem getting another one, uh, but there are other cars I'm looking at right now so uh, we'll see we'll see but I'm sad to let it go and uh, I'm gonna replace it with uh, something newer because I've had it for a while now so I think it's about that time and I held on to it longer than I should have just because of sentimental reasons but uh, gonna miss this car but as always make sure you smash that like button below go ahead and smash it right now do it for me do it for cash do it for gizmo and do it for the Range Rover. Please smash that like button below. Uh, also hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton when you actually subscribe to my channel. So make sure you're subscribed as well because too many of you guys are on my channel, not yet subscribed, but you're watching all these vids. So help a brother out, man. Subscribe, hit the subscribe button. I would very much appreciate it. And uh, for all of you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content that I'm teaching you even further, uh, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I am teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens. Same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students now all around the world are out there approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, we are making things happen every single week, no matter how high gas prices go, no matter what boneheads are in the White House, no matter uh, what kind of divisions going on in the world, we're continuing to live our lives at the highest level. And I want you to join us. I want you to become one of us. And again, this is the absolute best way to support my work and you're going to get a ton of value from it, okay? I promise you, you're going to get a ton of value out of my seven months of mastery program. And right now, the first month is only a buck. It's only $1 for the entire first month of coaching lessons. So take advantage of it. It's really easy to get signed up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now, and I will see you in my next coaching video. I'm out from the rover for one of the last times. It would be very sad.